washed by the blue waters of the Bay of Bengal along its eastern coastline and isolated from the rest of the country by beautiful mountain ranges. Odisha is a land of holiness, beauty and artistic excellence. Until the 3rd century BC, Odisha, then known as Kalinga, flourished in peace and prosperity, ruled mostly by local rulers. It came into limelight in 261 BC when the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka invaded Kalinga and emerged victorious in the famous Kalinga War, the last battle of which was fought at the foothills of Dauli on the banks of the river Daya near Bhubaneswar, the capital of Odisha. The massacre and devastations of the war made Ashoka remorseful. His victory echoed defeat. Repulsed by the bloody carnage of his military campaign, he sought guidance from Upagupta, the Buddhist monk, who showed him the path of peace and non-violence. Ashoka embraced Buddhism as he metamorphosed from Chandashoka to Dharmashoka, renouncing war for good. Buddhism received royal patronage and spread all over Odisha and also from here to other parts of the world like Thailand, Cambodia, Java, Sumatra, Japan, Korea, Laos, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. To spread the message of peace, non-violence and ideals and philosophy of Buddhism, Ashoka engraved several minor and major rock edicts in different places in Asia and India. Two such major rock edicts exist in Odisha at Jaogarh and Dauli. These edicts, known as the Ashokan Edict of Kalinga, is in Brahmi script and Pali language and pronounces his reverence to all sects and tolerance to all practices. Ashoka instructed his viceroys to rule over the land for the welfare and happiness of the people. In this Kalinga rock edict, Ashoka made the famous declaration as all men are my children and as I desire peace and happiness of my children both in this world and the world beyond, so I desire for all men. Above the inscription is the forepart of an elephant hewn out of the rock which is a sacred symbol of Buddhism. Historians opine that this rock-cut elephant image is the earliest sculpture of Odisha. From the time of Ashoka till today, excellent monuments were built in different phases which include Jain caves, Buddhist stupas, monasteries and Hindu temples of Odisha. Even in the 20th century, this majestic peace pagoda or the Vishwashanti stupa was built at Dauli. The thousand years between the 6th century AD and 16th century AD when a series of Hindu temples were constructed is referred to by many as a golden epoch of Odisha temple art. A distinct art style popularly known as the Kalingan style of art and architecture evolved and manifested its maturity in the famous Sun Temple at Konark. The genesis of this style traces its root in the 6th century AD group of temples of Shatrugneshwar in Bhubaneswar. In the post-Gupta period, generations of artists laboriously experimented with the regional style 
under the patronage of successive ruling dynasties such as the Sailodbhavas, Bhaumakaras, Somavanshis, Gangas and Gajapatis in an unbroken continuity that gave a regional identity par excellence. Bhubaneswar, the ancient Ekamra Khetra, served as the experimental ground of these temple building activities without being distracted by the change of ruling dynasties or their religious affiliations. Indian Shilpa Shastras recognize three main types of temples, namely Nagara, Dravida and Vesara. Odishan temples constitute a sub-style of Nagara style of the North Indian temples. Shilpa text of Odisha mentions three types of temples. Rekha Devula, Pidha Devula and Kakra Devula. The Rekha and Pida temple form two component of the architectural scheme. The former represented by the sanctum with its curvilinear spire and the latter by a porch with a pyramidical roof called Pida. In the beginning, there was no Pida Devla and the Jagmohan or the frontal hall had a flat roof. In the course of time, to meet the growing needs of the rituals, two more structures were added during the Ganga dynasty in 12th century AD. The Natya Mandap or dancing hall and Bhoga Mandap or the offerings hall. All the four components, the Vimana or Sanctum, Jagmohan, Natya Mandap and Bhoga Mandap are arranged in one axial alignment and often the temple complex is enclosed by boundary walls with a gateway of Pida Devla. The Kakra style is noted by a semi-cylindrical vaulted roof that looks like an inverted boat or a pumpkin gourd roof. The temples of this order are usually meant for Shakti worship.